Hello and welcome to Locofy. Today we are going to install DULLHP in a DC only Prairie 262. Uh, it's a Bartman 2451 Baltimore in Ohio. Get the shell off. I think uh, we see these couple of screws here, uh, over here and uh, one over here. And there's uh, a couple of tabs uh, so after you open the screws uh, you just need to spread the tabs and the uh, and the shell uh, should pop off. Uh, with these two screws uh, out of the way. Uh, uh, before I we try to uh, spread the tabs, I believe we'll need to remove one more screw, uh, which is this one, and uh, another screw which is hidden behind it. So with this screw and uh, this uh, the two wheels out of the way, uh, we're going to spread these two tabs. Uh, we'll try to access from here and uh, try to pull the top off. So I'm using a flathead screwdriver here. Uh, kind of pop it off from this side and. Uh, Similarly from the other side. Uh, after a bit of struggle, uh, it was finally off. Uh, rather than trying to access from here, you might also want to try to access uh, from the bottom and then uh, try to pop it off. Uh, and uh, take care uh, uh, not to damage anything. There's really delicate parts like these wires and uh, uh, Oh, all these uh, mechanical parts here uh, which are easy to damage uh, trying to pop the shell off so let's see what we got here under the hood okay so it looks like a split frame uh, kind of mechanism here uh, the two power supplies straight uh, going to the motor and uh, to the smoke unit and the bulb in the front the bulb probably could be replaced uh, with a 3mm or maybe a 5mm LED and uh, we will also uh, attempt to uh, put the rear light here uh, another LED and obviously the uh, it's uh, the module would go in the tender it just doesn't have the space here and uh, we just need to get the power here uh, from here and uh, route it back into the tender where the module would be and get the motor out and the front LED lights out back uh, into the front of the locomotive so what we're gonna do is uh, uh, utilize the holes for this screw uh, which goes in here and uh, to route the wires uh, we'll just cut this thing off here now I am using a uh, 32 gauge 0.6 mm uh, outer diameter wires here and I got like six wires and that's all we will need uh, to go back into the tender so uh, let's try removing this board um, here and uh, and uh, make the connections uh, we'll uh, for now remove the smoking unit because uh, there is no way to activate it from the module itself and uh, we'll just try removing these looks like these screws probably are getting the power directly from the chassis and uh, the split frame so what we'll do is uh, we'll wire one of these red and black uh, you know kind of wrap around the screws and uh, put the screws back in so uh, yeah let's get this thing off yeah as expected this is drawing the power so uh, I'm gonna just 
desolder the motor wires and uh, desolder the the bulb wires and uh, instead uh, connect the motor wires to the motor and the power wires to these two screws and uh, the blue and the white wire to the bulb and uh, replace the bulb with the LED so let's see how that looks so I just soldered the two motor wires uh, after removing this board and uh, got these two screws uh, that uh, I'm going to wrap the black and the red wire and uh, kind of screw it in uh, does look like uh, it probably doesn't go all the way in it wasn't threaded that way because of the thickness uh, of this PCB here so we'll have to put some kind of uh, extra layer uh, like uh, metallic aluminium or something similar as you can see there is this gap here which is the thickness of the PCB so uh, we'll try to put some washer or something here so that it uh, we, we are able to wrap the wire and tighten it up so what I did here was uh, use a 22 gauge uh, copper wire and kind of wrap it around the screw uh, to act kind of like a washer, uh, like a springy washer. If you have that, uh, then nothing like it, but uh, uh, this this should work well. Now, what I'm gonna do is uh, just uh, try to put this in here. Kind of wrap the the wire in between so the 22 gauge wire is uh, it's a solid core wire now this is one way to do it the other way could have been to just use this PCB itself and just uh, kind of cut all these traces that go to each of these points and uh, just solder the wires right on this PCB itself so that could have been an, another way to do it so with that uh, I'm gonna just pop the smoke unit out keep it aside and uh, take the bulb out as well and uh, take it out of its socket and uh, replace it with an appropriate LED as you can see the 3mm LED fits pretty nicely I'm just gonna wire the blue and the white to the negative and positive appropriately With all these uh, connections in place and now I uh, will attempt to close uh, the shell and before that actually uh, let's just test it out uh, we'll take the module out and uh, connect these wires uh, give it some power and see uh, if it's working okay then uh, uh, of course the sound would be diesel for now but uh, as we have this uh, steam sounds upcoming uh, but this is just the install part of it and uh, after the OTA we'll just simply change the sounds to the steam sounds so let's just wire up some connections and see if uh, this works as expected So the test was successful, uh, I isolated the motor wires differentiate from the power 
and uh, things look good here now we need to work on tender so uh, it appears there's one screw here let's try to get that in. and let's keep the screw separate so that uh, we don't mix it with the other screws and uh, oh that's it uh, not much here just a single screw and let's see so we'll try to make a small hole or like a cutout here to route the wires and uh, this seems like it would lock like placing the module like, directly it's probably not possible so might want to place it like vertically or something so that uh, it doesn't interfere with uh, closing the tender and the speaker could simply go on the other side uh, so let's do that uh, also uh, I'm gonna use this uh, I got some super flexible uh, tubing here uh, to kind of you know cover all these wires over here within this tube so, so one last thing to note uh, is uh, we'll try to get the try to see if we can get the rear light uh, there is, uh, this is just a dummy thing paint here we'll try to see if we can fit in the LED and uh, get a couple of wires uh, down into the tender body uh, we'll see so okay uh, I did a hole here so that uh, I can feed these wires in uh, for now I'm just gonna feed these wires inside and just kind of uh, solder them all together uh, but uh, for a much cleaner installation we could even have uh, like a small plug at the end of these wires uh, which can be coming out here and you just uh, plug both the things in uh, but that's for a, a later video this video is just to kind of give you an idea of uh, how the installation can be done so uh, let me just feed these wires and uh, put the shell back on so what I've done here is uh, drill a hole in the, the dummy rear light and uh, used a 3mm LED and attached uh, two 36 gauge speaker wires and uh, and I also drilled a very tiny hole just behind that so that I can feed the speaker wires through it I'm just gonna plug the LED in here and uh, wire the your light inside and we should be all set so uh, after fitting this rear LED uh, those two fine wires are coming out over here and I soldered them to the yellow and blue and from the front uh, from the locomotive itself I put this uh, rubber tubing I was showing you it's a very thin flexible silicone rubber tubing and routed the wires through the hole that I had drilled and then soldered all the connections uh, to the module the module itself I placed vertically hot glued it to the plate below and uh, then attached the speaker uh, uh, with double sided tape for now so I'm just gonna uh, assemble it all uh, back and uh, as test run it and see how it goes so it all tested okay and uh, uh, the installation is complete uh, look out for the 
next video with a test run with steam sounds thank you